Hello and welcome to the Mexop demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration, just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. Without further delay, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. Now, are you looking to mess these into a sheet before programming toolpaths? Millicent? Routing them? Correct. Okay. So what I could do is I can select these curves and invert the selections and you'll notice that I just deleted those uh, solid panels in here because mm -hmm. all I need is curves or just 2D geometries for messing. So when I right. chose to do the explode cabinet design, I could have just chose the option to pick only these curves in here as you notice it. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to select these and I'll just basically stage them below the origin in here. And what I'm going to do next is define my sheet uh, to be able to nest these parts. So I'm going to click on create a rectangle in Rhinoceros. And for the sheet, I'm going to specify they're going to be 48 by 96. So is 96 along the Y axis for your router? It's actually the other way. The other way? Okay, so it's 96. Yeah. So the X is going to be 96? Yes. Okay. All right, so we defined a sheet that's 96 by 48. Now, we would like to nest these parts into the sheet. So we would want to go into the nesting module. So you go to Minocam and then pick nest. We have okay. true shape and rectangular nesting options available. Okay. Now, typically for um, cabinet work, panel work, you would want to do a rectangular nest. We use true shape true. nesting just to be true able shape. to okay. just to be able to fit more parts and occasionally be able to get more parts because you can you fit can parts inside the of. And, yep. Yeah, makes sense. So I'm going to pick true shape as you recommended. We'll pick the sheet and I'm going to click on select curves. Grab this rectangle as my sheet. So the sheet okay. is now defined and I'm going to choose select parts to nest and I can choose select curves and I can drag a window to select these curves right okay. to accept it. So you'll now notice that there's a total of 53 parts that are displayed in here. Okay. And you can specify your orientation step angle, you can choose the mirror parts, if you have parts inside of the parts like you have like holes, you can have mm -hmm. allow parts inside of parts. In this particular part there's a aren't any holes in here so right. I'm not going to make these selections in here. Now for the nesting parameters you can set the distance between each part, the minimum distance you would like to maintain between each part. So this would depend based on what size cutter you're planning on using. Right. Right? So we generally do point four. Okay, so we'll put in distance between part to part as point four and then distance from the part to the edge of the sheet. This could be we same generally as do an eighth of we do an eighth of an inch. Okay. Yeah. So put in an eighth of an inch. And you could choose to tag these nested parts if it's an option. Or you could choose to, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically choose an annotation or geometry. And then also you can specify how would you like the sheets uh, to be laid out. Do you want them to be laid out stacked on top of each other? Or you can have them side by side. So if you'd like to have it stacked on top, you can just choose stack right in here. And if you pick estimate number of sheets, this will let us know how many sheets uh, would be required to be able to fit these parts in the cabinet. Okay. Right? So it says it requires eight sheets. I'm going to hit update sheet count. It automatically updates the sheet. And now okay. I'm going to do execute nest. So it's uh, processing the nest and then hit preview. So you'll now notice that there's total of eight sheets, sheets one of one. You can see that they're basically okay. processed into it right in here. And I have an option to create a separate layer for each sheet or separate group for each sheet. So I'm going to use separate layer. So each sheet will be output as a separate layer. Okay. And I hit export. Okay, so if I choose export, It'll export it as separate files, but I want to just export it uh, right, you know, commit it right in here. So I just choose commit nest. So you'll now notice that these sheets have been created right in here. Okay. 
you got all the different sheets and if you notice here I can toggle the layers of the sheets and mm -hmm. there's all of our sheets the first sheet second sheet sure sheet three sheet four five six seven and eight and once you have them nested you can either export the nest to uh, you know separate files or you can export them all into the same file and then process your toolbacks now if right. you'd like to export them into separate files here's how you do it uh, let me go ahead and save this file and we'll go ahead and export them to separate files in here so I'm gonna go back and uh, reload this part and I'll hide all of these um, geometries If I do a show, it'll actually uh, show the entire cabinet that you had, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was the cabinet. I'm going to hide it again. And we'll look at the initial uh, result uh, after the mm -hmm. exploding of the cabinets in here. Now we go over to the nesting module. You select the sheet. You select your parts. You establish the nesting parameters. And we would set it to stack. We would estimate the total number of sheets needed. So that way we can update the quantity of sheets. I have a we'll quick question. Over. Sure. If you do it <clears throat> instead of stack, if you do it along X or along Y, mm -hmm. does it automatically know that for each one of those sheets where zero, zero for the actual sheet is? Uh, that's a very good question what you had. So there is an option when we export it, we can move it over to the origin. So if you choose along X and you specify a spacing between each sheet, mm -hmm. it take, keep it at least two inches. I would do execute nest. And I would preview the nest, so you'll notice that they basically previewed side by side mm -hmm. over here. Right. And right in here, you have create a layer, separate layer for each nested sheet, and then it says move every sheet's lower corner okay. to the origin. Okay. Now I'm going to choose an export path in here. I'm going to put a uh, folder on my desktop. I could choose where I would like to place it. I could say uh, add a new folder in here. And I'm going to pick that folder. And I have this option selected. I'm going to pick export. So you see that you got a confirmation saying successfully exported. Okay. So all of these have been successfully exported in here. Now okay. what I'm going to do is each part, uh, each sheet is going to be exported as a separate Rhino file. Now I'm going to go back and to Rhino, go to the folder where I had it. On the desktop, I should have a new folder. And you'll notice that all of those seven sheets are okay. ready. And so then every the one of those sheet. will just be moved to the origin. As you notice here, you're right. The first one is okay. at the origin. Let's look at the sheet number two. It is moved to the origin. Okay. And we can, let's pick a random sheet in here, number five. You'll notice that they're all at the origin.